It's time to put the fish plates on our frame. But, you know, we have to make them first. So, let me bring you guys in. We're gonna do the fish plates up on this real quick. Let's see about strengthening up this frame. We got the base in the last video, but it's time to polish what we have and really get this dialed in so the suspension can go in. Welcome to High House Stable Garage. As you can see from the last video, that's all finished welded. Plates are all finished welded, all that stuff. So now we're ready for our plate to come up on this side and our plate to come up on this side, tie in the whole entire thing. So for this side right here, I think if we go, I don't know, right where my thing, finger is, that's about four inches in, kind of come out to four inches here, do kind of like an S-shaped step to that plate and then rosette welds, butt welds, that kind of stuff. Get that all done up. We'll do that on both sides. And then this side, what I'm thinking is we'll do full width for the frame here, notch out that little section for our cross member. And then same thing, we'll come out to like four inches on this section of frame right there. And we'll kind of curl the edges in. Seam weld, seam weld, seam weld. Get it all seam welded with rosette welds. That should be super strong. I also want to put two cross members in up on here. We were kind of holding off because I didn't know for sure if the suspension was going to hit, but we have such a big C-notch in this, I'm not worried at all. So I'm going to put two cross members here and here. They'll span across the entire thing. That will add a whole bunch of strength. So what we're going to do, we're likely going to put the cross members in first. That way it will hold any tweaks that might happen from those fish plates because that's going to be a lot of weld in one little area. And then from there, we'll go to the shop, build the fish plates, and we'll work it like that. I got one kind of situated up in here. We're using one and a half by one and a half inch square tubing. What I think I'm gonna do is do square tubing here, square tubing here, and then maybe somewhere around halfway to, if you do, or divide it up into quarters, I should say, we'll do two connecting beams that will connect the two square tubes together. Make it super strong in that one area, because again, this is one of, even though this is super overbuilt, it is still one of our weaker structures on our entire frame due to the arch. So let me bang this guy in. I'm going to tack him up. I'm going to make another one and we'll put it there. And then we'll make our two pieces that will ride right across the thing. So let's start welding it up. Tack this side in and we'll double check the other side there real quick. Check our height. Perfect. Can't ask for better than that.
it's not bad doing it on the frame. Just flip the car upside down. You're right. That's a smart no. move. All right, so I got the back piece all finished welded up. It's super strong there. I could jump on that all the live long day. My brother was actually talking to me and he brought up a good point. Technically, this should be at the right height for a fifth wheel receiver. And there shouldn't be anything that I have to do in the middle. It's technically only raised so then we could have our straight frame, but he brought up a good point. If I put a fifth wheel receiver there, I could just strengthen it after the suspension's in, figure out what we need to do. But then this will be a fifth wheel capable truck. Who would have thought? All right, guys, it wouldn't be a fifth wheel, sorry, a gooseneck ball. That's what I mean to say. That's just another thought, just down the line. But we have it all finished, welded up. Nothing fancy. Basically what we're making is the outer cover plate, a lot like our fish plates on our C-notch. I have two plates here. We're just gonna plasma guys these out and then we're gonna bend up these center sections then make our rosette. So let me plasma this out, two pieces, and then I'll come right back when we're ready to bend up. is I bent up this little piece here for the outside ridge that we have to do for our fish plates. Basically, it's two 90s. That's about it, really, not too fancy. So we're just gonna bend those up in our hydraulic press brake bendy thing, and yeah, and then we can add our rosette welds after. I don't wanna add the rosette welds just yet, because, you know, you never know exactly where things might land and stretch, and all that kind of jazz. So, let me fire up the machine, we'll plug her in. All right, so there's our two outer edge fish plates. They're all done up, ready to be welded onto the truck. So now we gotta start working on the inner fish plate. We got our fish plates all laid out here. This is the majority piece. This is gonna be seam welded to our original frame rail. This guy right here, he's gonna be rosette welded to our new frame rail. And then here's our union piece right here that gets seam welded, fish cut, and rosette welded to our new frame rail. Same as back here. But the main structure points are basically gonna be the rosette welds and the seam weld up here that's gonna join it. But that's in combination with our outside fish plate and our inner C's, our inner C plates that we welded in the last video. I'm gonna plasma these guys out. All right, so there's our inner fish plates all said and done. This is where our four x two box tube basically runs. And as you can see, it's a little bit smaller than the four x two, it's three and a half inches wide. So this is all seam welded to the box tube, rosette welded all to the box tube, seam welded there. And then this gets seam welded to the frame rail. That's both sides. So between the inner ones here, the outer ones that we already made, and then those inner C's, it should be super, super strong. So I'll see you guys back at the bar. I actually finished welded in one of our side gusset plates right here. If you can see, let's get the glare out of it. Just like so, it's all finished welded in. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride on that side. We're gonna finish weld that one in. It's not even on yet. And then we have our two interior plates. Those are the big ones, but we should be able to tackle those too. All right, so we got our fish plates all notched in. I'll show you what I mean by the notch. Let me grab this one. So this guy is gonna come in here. That notch goes over the cross member. We're gonna fish plate him to our new frame rail. 
and then basically we're going to bend in the top and bottom and they're going to get steam welded to the old frame rail so let me weld these guys in with the fish piece and then we're going to go at it with the hammer so just give me a quick second let me set you guys up and let's get to work One could say that frame rail is getting a little hot. <laughs> yes, sir. It's all rosette welded in, and that's what we wanted. Let me get some more light there. That side seam welded. We still have to seam weld here, but what we have to do is we have to tap, 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 tap that guy in with the hammer. Nothing too crazy. It shouldn't be that hard. So put you guys back up on there. Hit out the hammer till it goes in, and I'll likely put a C clamp, do a couple tacks around the entire thing, and then we can do seam weld in about four inch sections top and bottom and then that plate is done so yeah there you go it's all welded in fully seam welded on the top just not where that bushing is i'll get that some other time but it's fully seam welded in. I cleaned it up just a tiny bit. That will do perfect. To summarize, what we have in here, we have our triple C's. Those are seam welded, then seam welded to our tube. Then we have our outer fish plate that's welded on. And now we have our inner fish plate. It's all welded on. This frame rail isn't going nowhere. I still have to do this side, but I won't bore you with that. It's the exact same as this side right here awesome fellas basically we got a whole bunch of progress done fish plates we got our main structure here so can't twirl and stuff still thinking about the gooseneck ball but that might come at another time so i'm just gonna fish plate these stuff off camera but the next video we do on this should be adapting our old suspension onto our new frame lowering it that kind of stuff so stay tuned for that I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one really, really soon. Hey, right, see ya.